Chess friends, how are you? One of the most attractive chess variation game is 1 vs 4 Grandmasters chess game which I am gonna to show you, we have Magnus Hikaru Ian Nepo and Vladimir Kromnik in the black corner, the rules of the game are that they can choose their final move by vote or they will choose their optional move and the alpha will play it, so let's go, I started the game with e4, they considered to play e5, so knight f3, and here they could play standard opening moves. But they voted with Magnus Carlsen that they will play outstanding Latvina Gambit, that's an amazing move in front of world's number one chess player, taking the pawn isn't good because black can push the e-pawn to create troubles. So we have knight takes e5, queen to f6, d4, Hikaru Magnus want to play e6, Ian and Kromnik want to play different types of move, but we have the best move selected by alpha, knight c4 pawn takes pawn. They want to play d5 knight c6 queen g7 to pressure this g pawn and restrict my bishop, so after one move we have queen g6, this move paralyzes my bishop's development, but I have issue with it because I will go in queen side after moving up the queen, develop my king army to attack in king side, world's top 4 chess players are dared to play Latvian opening against me, I will defeat them very badly, they get scared of this and the 4 grandmasters want to play different move. The more different moves they choose, the more likely they are to get the best move, that's the main idea, so alpha selected the best move knight f6, I played h3, a very important move to attack in the future, few moves later we have a6, they played a6 to defend any source of attacks before playing castle, so after castle we have b5, here any ordinary human will think of playing knight a5, but that move isn't the best because black will successfully create his structure and my knights will be dumb there. That will be a shameful thing for me, the great legendary ultimate max genius brilliant stockfish played knight e5, sacrificing the knight, if you dare to protect the queen then g4 will come, the queen will be trapped so after knight takes pawn, we will take it and the rook will target to the queen, she has no square to go so after takes, we will play a bishop check, and now you will lose your queen, I think even 1000 grandmasters play against me, even then I can defeat them all together, lol. We have knight pawn exchanges on center, the knight is under attack so if you dare to protect the knight then we will play knight d5 to target both of the pieces, so after bishop p8 knight f4 queen f5 e6 if you try to protect the horsey, then it will be a checkmate on d8, I don't actually how the human brain works, just eat sleep hard work mate defend and dead, ha 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 but in our actual game, streamer Hikaru finds the best move before, I take the knight and if you dare to take it. Then the knight will destroy you with knight d5, bishop b5 to protect it so bishop here, queen d6 and after. Doing bishop exchanges, looks like the position is safe and secure but there is bishop c4, first of all the king is exposed and it can be targeted by millions of ways, I don't think dumb human can find one of them, so after knight c6 f4, Pawn can't do on Passan because of rook e1, so after queen d6 queen e2 bishop to f5 g4, the bishop can't go there because of this so he has to move back with no benefit, takes here knight takes b4, this move of exposed the d-file. The queen can't take the knight because of this reason and you will be destroyed, can the knight take the knight? No, that's not possible, so black will play queen g6 then we will capture it, position is just dead lost for you, king c8 knight fork and you will lose the queen. The whole secret of a successful life is to find out what is one's destiny to do, and then do it, so back to the position, we have b takes c3 to create problems, queen takes c3 wouldn't solve the problem because of bishop takes pawn and your position will be restricted, so in this position I played queen d5 with an extra move, they countered me with c6, f takes g7, here many players can think of playing c takes pawn check, let me show you the variation, but after king b1. The king will be totally safe under the umbrella pawn, 20 yellow rated player can think of playing pawn takes queen, sacrificing the rook for a pawn, bishop f8 rook takes d5 knight here rook g5, queen d6 so bishop e2 to support the rook to play rook d1, bishop c5 will fall your diagonal, bishop h6 check is also possible there, how will you protect these attacks at the same time? Few moves later, the bishop can come to the c5 square to target the piece, but we will play the dangerous move rook d1, the queen have to run then we will play bishop g4 to add pressure on this d7 bishop, 
You can also play rook d5 with patience, it will create an another attack to the queen and king, so after king c8 rook takes bishop, queen backs rook g7, this can't be taken because of this, and after king b8 we will sacrifice the queen by capturing the bishop, because there is rook b8 check and mate. It is called Wang Wao checkmate without queen, back to the position, they have at least IQ of 69 so they played queen takes g7, queen takes pawn and you shouldn't take the pawn, if you do it then after king b1, castle we will push the g-pawn, the bishops will attack to the king territory with crisscross apple sows, and my pawn will also ready there to attack in king structure, so back to the position, they played castle, bishop c1 check, king runs rook to e1. The four super grandmasters want to play four different types of moves, Magnus and Ian want to develop his bishop, so we have the best move bishop f5, and I decided to sacrifice my queen as a tempo, we have queen takes e7 bishop d4 check, your queen is under attack so they blocked the check with queen, So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.